wanted to find the domain and range for this problem, right? Uh, remember, domain and range domain tells us all the x values that are defined for the function. So remember, here's our x-axis, so here's all the x values. So for it to be defined in the function, that means if I pick up x value, is there a point on the graph that's an x, like does, the, does this graph have an x, at, an x value at 2? You can say yes. Over here, there is a point for x value of 2. So what are all the points, what are all the points on the graph that have an x value? And you could say, well, this arrow could, continues uh, to infinity, mm -hmm. so I'd have negative infinity all the way up to the point of negative 2. Okay? Because every one of these has a point. However, if I pick the point x right here, does mm -hmm. this have any point on the graph? No. So therefore, my graph is not defined for that point. Okay. However, from here, and then from here I have an x value all the way going. Again, that's going to infinitely go that direction. So my x value will continue for, it'll be from 0, 0 to positive infinity. Right? And then we like to write these as our domain. Okay. Now the next thing, if I want to write find the range, the range is going to be my set of all my y values that are going to make that true. Okay. And let's, yeah, let's have a set up here. So would that one be 3 to positive infinity? Well, you got to go 3, but look at, so you have a point here. Does this have a y value right here? No. Wait, yeah. It is a y value, right? <laughs> but here, there's no point. There's no point on the graph that has a y value for one, right? Right. But at two, I do have a point. Okay. So for here, you could say your range is going to be from. Well, first, well, let's do this one. So how? Let's make a little half mark, right? Let's say that's negative one. That's negative one point five. Okay. Negative two. So my range goes from negative infinity to how far up? How far high does this line go up? Negative 1.5. Okay. Then it continues. There's nothing at 0 or at 1 or at negative 1. But then it starts back up again at 2, all the way up back up to infinity. Okay. So it doesn't have to be at like the starting point of the graph like that one? Nope. Is it? It's okay. just what Wherever values. Just think if you could like pick a value. Does it have a... Um, does it have a point in the graph? Okay. You know, is it defined for that point? Okay. So you just you know pick your y values for range and your x values for domain. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Thank you.